Aha! I see you've managed to pass the first test. You're almost ready to join our game. The apprentice's eyes gleamed as he imagined the treasure he was about to possess. But first, show us that you were worthy of belonging to the game. Of the magnificent King of Thieves! Say the magic words, and you'll be able to open the door before the hot desert sun rises and fries you like an egg. <laughs> That's easy. Everybody knows the magic words. Open! Blah, blah, blah! What? No! That's not the password! Wow, you got it on the first try. You may enter and face my second test. The young apprentice ventured into the dark cave. What peril awaited him? Terrifying guards! Guardians of the treasure who jump on Drac the apprentice out of nowhere! Oh, it looks pretty tough. How will he figure it out, Papa Jack? 
Well, with the power of hypnosis, that is all he needs to solve it. These enemies are totally defenseless after using hypnosis on them. Take it back and defeat them!
Survived my fearsome traps. Congratulations! Said the mighty king of thieves. But you still have one last test to pass. You must give me a tribute. Oh, why did they always beat around the bush? Jack the Apprentice has already proven himself worthy of a share of the treasure. What do you want me to bring you, oh mighty king? Go back to the rocky canyon and find all the toy boxes I've hidden. Uh. Well, off we go again. Go back to the Rocky Canyon and find all the toy boxes I've hidden. Apprentice could sense that the treasure was close by inside the cave. All he had to do was get the toys back and the riches were his. I remember seeing one around here. Thank <laughs> you. 
full. You found all the toys. Now you're a member of my gang and can go inside the treasure chamber. The young apprentice ventured into the dark cave, but peril awaited him. Terrifying guards! Guardians of the treasure who jump on Drag the Apprentice out of nowhere! This did it. He worked hard and earned his share of the precious treasure. Be careful, Apprentice. The chamber is riddled with traps. We can't just let anyone take our treasure. <laughs> the treasure is mine! Thieves was not lying. The chamber is full of obstacles that could reduce me to ashes. So the apprentice had to use all his skills to stay alive. Oh! 
Wanders hidden away in the treasure chamber. At last, track the apprentice was very close, but first he would have to resolve one last little matter. One less for the collection.
At last, the apprentice had entered the chamber. For years, he had wanted to possess that magnificent treasure. And now his dreams were about to come true. Holy cockroaches! Everywhere I look, I see dazzling jewels, rubies, pearls. Do you want some? They're made of chocolate. Made of choco? Made of what? Chocolate. Over there you have the gummy chests. Over there the candy crystals. We even have sun-dried mangoes. That's when the apprentice discovered the truth. There was no treasure. The crystals were made of candy, the gold was chocolate, and the pearls were just plain sugar. No, it, it can't be possible. This treasure is worthless. What do you mean, worthless? This is the best treasure in the whole wide world. With a real treasure, you can get whatever you want. With this one, all you'll get is cavities. Giant, sticky, and delicious, Mr. Gummy Bear! Uh oh.
a story like that. Let me read it again. Oh no! My treasure! We need to get out of here! For nothing! The treasure is worthless. Yum, yum, yum. Speak for yourself, buddy. I think it's priceless. And to top it off, I lost my medallion. Once upon a time, there was a cheerful young girl called Little Red Riding Mavis. One day, her little old granny asked her to do a very special job. Of course I can bake you a cake, granny. What kind would you like? Little Red Mavis asked. Mm-hmm. Rotten pumpkin flavor. With cream cheese and decorated with stinging nettles. You got it. Anything for you, Granny. As soon as it's ready, I'll bring it to your house. And so, Little Red Mavis set out to fulfill her dear Granny's wishes. Hey, hey, hey! Are you telling stories? I want to be in them. What, Frank? Wait, wait! Hey! What happened to me? Now look what you've done. Your body parts are going to be scattered throughout this story. <laughs> cool! Little Red Riding Mavis, will you help me find the rest of my body? Little Red Mavis arrived at the pumpkin patch. She discovered something strange. What happened here? Who trampled the pumpkins? Um, this doesn't look good. I better be on my toes. Look out, Little Red Mavis! Pumpkin patch was now filled with danger. Little Red Mavis carried on. Stomping and whomping. Yes, Winnie. Stomping and whomping, ready to retrieve the rotten pumpkin for Granny's game. A 
After searching high and low, Little Red Mave has found the big rotten pumpkin. Huh, that's weird. Why is it all the way out here? Little Red Mavis had fallen into a trap! Luckily, she was prepared to fight the fiery pumpkin. Oh. Ouch! journey. She finally found the big rotten pumpkin for Granny's cake. But there was something nagging at Little Red Mavis. Um, who would want to hide it out here? This is very peculiar. Little Red Mavis had no time to waste, so she started looking for some fresh toad eggs to make the screen cheese filling. Then a horde of evil creatures with sharp teeth and huge claws attacked her. Grrr! What? Who? Yeah, hang on a minute! And the courageous Little Red Mavis stood her ground and pounded them into next week.
Little Red Mavis calmly continued on her merry way to find the Toad Eggs. Mavis could make some delicious scream cheese for the filling. All she needed now was a few stinging nettles to decorate the delicious cake for her granny. But the path to get them was not going to be a walk in the park. Come on, little red Mavis, you can do it. Stinging nettles full of spikes and barbs. These will make the cake look amazing, said Little Red Mavis before returning home to bake the cake. But before leaving, she discovered mysterious footprints along the path. Um, whose footprints are these? Little Red Mavis asked herself. Is this who's been hiding all the ingredients? She pondered. But what Little Red Mavis didn't know was that those mysterious footprints actually belong to the terrible Big Bad Wolf. The cake is in the oven. As soon as it's ready, I'll take it to Granny. I should talk to the hunter about the stranger that's roaming around. While the cake was slowly baking in the oven, Little Red Mavis decided to go through the dangerous haunted woods. She had to tell her family's friend, the hunter, about the strange footprint she found. Huh? 